In this video, we will talk about how to find a scale factor with similar figures. So I have a few examples for us to work through here. Let's check out the first one. Let's say we have this small rectangle where this side has a length of one and this side has a length of three. And then we have this large rectangle where this side has a length of four and this side has a length of 12. So we're told that these are similar figures and we want to find the scale factor. So let's say we're going from this small rectangle to this large rectangle. What is the scale factor? Well, the way that we do that is we use this formula here. We take one side of the new figure and we divide it by the corresponding side of the old figure. So if we're going from this small rectangle to this large rectangle, we'll call this large rectangle the new figure. So what we can do is just pick any side that we want. So let's say let's pick this side with the length of 12. And we'll say 12 divided by the corresponding side of the old figure, which we said is going to be this small rectangle. So the corresponding side would be this side right here, which has a length of 3. So 12 divided by 3, what's that? That's 4. So the scale factor is 4. In other words, we have to multiply the dimensions of this small rectangle by 4 to get the dimensions of the large rectangle. And the nice thing about this is that it doesn't matter which side we pick. So for example, if we would have picked this side with a 4, and we would have said, okay, 4 divided by, what's the corresponding side on this small rectangle? It'd be this side right here, which has a length of 1. So 4 divided by 1, that's also 4. So as long as you pick the corresponding sides of each figure, you'll get the correct answer. And one way to double check yourself is when we're going from a small figure to a large figure, we call that an enlargement, and the scale factor will always be greater than 1. So we can see that our scale factor is 4, which is greater than 1. So that's kind of just a way to double check ourselves. All right, let's try another example. Let's say we have these two triangles and we're told that they're similar figures. If we're going from the smaller triangle to the larger triangle, what is the scale factor? Well, we can call this large triangle the new figure since we're going to this figure. So remember, we just pick any side that we want. So let's say this side right here that has a length of 10. We'll say the scale factor is 10 divided by the corresponding side in the old figure, which is this small triangle right here. So this side has a length of 5. So 10 divided by 5, that's 2. So the scale factor is 2. And again, a way to double check ourselves is since we're going from a smaller figure to a larger figure, our scale factor should be greater than 1, and it is. So that's just a way to double check ourselves. All right, let's try one more example. Let's say we have this large square and this small square, and we're told they're similar figures. And let's say we want to go from the large square to the small square. How can we find the scale factor there? Well, in this particular example, this large square is going to be the old figure, and the small square is going to be the new figure that we're going to. So the scale factor, we're just going to pick one side of the new figure. So let's pick this side right here. That has a length of 2. So we'll say 2 divided by the corresponding side in the old figure. That would be this side right here, which has a length of 8. So 2 divided by 8, that can be reduced to 1 fourth. So the scale factor is 1 fourth. Now in this example, we're going from a large figure to a smaller figure. So the scale factor should be less than 1. And we can see that it is one-fourth is less than one. So that's just a way to double-check ourselves.